Nigamucha Stegi from Stanford, 24 and 0 this year. The senior from Talent, Oregon, taking on 30 and 0. Ed Ruth, the redshirt sophomore from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. These two have met just once in their careers. It was last year's quarterfinals, and Amucha Stegi came away Here we go, man. Bring with in. the victory. It Shake was hands, a guys. very dominant Back. victory by Amucha Stegi, too. In it, Ruth got hurt, but not before he was behind by several points. Amucha Stegi really put the hammer on Ruth in the quarterfinals. And then Ruth was very impressive coming back after that injury and getting third place. Four straight wrestlebacks after he had to default due to the injury that he suffered against Amucha Stegi. The only matchup tonight of undefeated wrestlers, and actually the seedings was a little bit of a controversy. Mucha Stegi in the finals last year, losing to John Reeder. He gets undefeated, and yet he gets third seed. Having beaten Ruth before, and Ruth got first seed, but here they are. Ruth jumps out in front with the two point takedown. Great job, Ruth. I mean, really aggressive right off the mat, just keeping that pressure and just really taking it to Mucha Stegi right now. Here, guys, work here. Work here. Look here. Turn in. He's got to try it. Right, here we go, guys. Here we go. A minute in. Ruth has the 2 nothing lead. You see Ruth here on that shot. That low ankle. Super down. Climbing up to that thigh right. Switching across that double leg. Pressuring. Driving up. And climbing up the tree. That's what my coaches call it. Climbing up that tree. Pressuring forward. Getting Ruth Stegi on the mat. lethal with that cradle, that cross face cradle, and he doesn't do it daintily. He's got it locked up. He's got the cradle around the head, trying to turn him over. Ruth trying to put it down. They give him the two points. Couldn't finish off the pin, but he gets the two points. Head up. Go right. Go avoids disaster. Go right. Up. See Ruth with that cross Head face up. hooking right over the elbow. When he does that, when he has that hook on the elbow, you really you can't get that back. Amucha Stegi has no control of that arm, and Ruth really has control of the upper body of Amucha Stegi with that elbow. Stay on, stay on the mat. There you go, up. Here, Tim Rout. Shields, our lead official. Into him, into him, into him, into him. Into him. Two, two, come on. Two, two. Amucha trying to finish the reversal instead of just an escape. Towards the upper weight classes, the stigma is you're going to see slower matches. You're not going to see a slow match between these two. Uh, high pace right off the bat. It doesn't seem like it's going to slow down anytime soon. No, let it go. Bring it down. Here we go. See Ruth here with that cross face, getting that elbow, reaching across. Ricky and Mucha Stegi down to the mat, doing that flip over, kind of a risky move. Settles in. Mucha Stegi luckily was able to break that lock. Not before Ruth got this two, though. Mucha Stegi was able to come back with a reversal. Didn't just take the one point escape, took the reversal. Break it down. It can work on bottom. It can work to get away on bottom. That was a huge reversal for Mucha Stegi because, Anthony, you are right. Ruth was really aggressive and put in two. Mucha Stegi, and right here would be a huge reversal for real Ruth at the end of the period. Edge of the mat. Mucha Stegi trying to get out. one and up. Give him one point for the escape. You see Ruth again so close to locking up that cradle. If he had just a little bit more room, that Ed, Ed yeah. bounce line wasn't so close. He could have locked it up again. Already two pins for Ruth in the tournament so far. Red, it's gonna be Red's choice. Red, talk to me. Red's Ed choice Ruth, defers. Hair do you agree? To celebrate St. Patrick's Day. He's been celebrating it all uh, down. three period. days. He had gold at the Big Ten Finals. And all right, guys, we got five to bottom. Likes to have fun. Set. Take it top. Here we go. Dale Sanderson's having fun in the Penn State corner, along with assistant coach Casey Cunningham. Set. National champion for Central Michigan when he was wrestling. And 
Washington of Central Michigan. Jason Borelli, the head coach of Stanford, former Central Michigan. One Russell, green, neutral. Nice job out at Stanford. The escape point of Ujastegi. Going back to neutral. Ruth and now let up. He's got the locked. cradle again. He's got the near side cradle locked. And <laughs> if nothing else, there's he two gets green. The two How is Ruth able to get it Spread so down. quickly out of Here we go. He wraps his arm around the neck as well, trying to finish off the cradle. Well, you see Ruth here, he, he really snapped on that head, going across for that sweep single. And Mujistegi leaves his head down too too long, and Ruth's able to lock it up. Ruth, he looks for that cradle in every position, so it, it's, it's hard, to, hard to prevent it when he's looking for it in every set, single position. Cover. He's so good at it, so quick, and he's set. so strong. He really slams those hands together and gets that lock really, really tightly. National Championship with 174 pounds. Ed Ruth leading Nikomucha Stegi here in St. Louis, Missouri. Scott Trade Center, Adam Amin, the veteran Tim Johnson, last year's 125 champ Anthony Robles, and Kirk Kessler. Nice pressure there by Ruth. Just never giving up. He's not giving up that one point easily. He's not giving up any pressure. The pressure is on 100% of the time. Ruth is on it tonight. 45. You all right, Nick? Score one here, score one Ed here. Ed Ruth is 68 and two in his career. One of his two career losses was in last year's quarterfinals to Amucha Stegen. Right, score one here, 30. 30, get one here. 30! You good, you good? Head up. Plenty of riding time for Ruth as well. And just refuses to give Amujastegi any room and give up any more points. Trying to flip over and set up the cradle once again in the final seconds of the second. Good cushion for Ruth. Red choice. Coming to the NCAA Women's Swimming and Diving Championship continues tonight over on ESPN3. For more information on the NCAA Third, Swimming red, and Diving neutral. Championships, go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all go, 89 championships. Set. He yeah. chose neutral to begin this third period. He was looking over the coaches. The coaches were indicating, go down, get your points, and Muchastegui thought differently, chose neutral. And Ed Ruth, as he has done two the entire green. match, in on the hips and two for takedown. He's relentless. Ruth coming off a dominant performance in the semis against Logan Storley of Minnesota, where he got a technical fall. Again, trying to flip over for that cradle. That's the go-to move for Ed Ruth. He's so great at hitting. And you see, the key to that cradle is that cross face. He starts off, he sees that opening, he sees the head near the arm. Shoots that cross face. He's hitting it hard too. He's not, not being timid about it. He's exploding, hitting that cross face, locking up that elbow. And that's what's key to him locking up the cradle as well. Here we go. Red hey, down. Hey, hey. hey. 107. Hold it. Take it. Set. Something we've discussed about Ed Ruth is his length. A high school swimmer, he said that actually helped him so much in gaining some length, gaining some reach. And at this weight class, at 174 pounds, so difficult to try to battle the strength and the reach. Yeah, he's really, he's a total package here. And what he's doing a great job of, Ruth, is really controlling those hips of a Mujistegi. He's really sticking behind there, just sucking on, keeping that pressure, not giving Mujistegi Active. any room to breathe, any Active. room to score some points here. Three minutes of riding time for Ruth in this match. And that's what he's done so well in this match. David Taylor, his teammate, was putting on a clinic from the feet. This is a clinic from top. The hips are tight, the turns are there. And Ruth yourself. is, like I said, he's putting on a clinic because he's textbook on top here tonight. I got two near fall. Back points, 10 point lead, Ed Ruth is on his way. It was, somewhat, it was almost like there was a pack before, between the teammates. <laughs> Who can do the bigger margin of win? And Taylor's going to get that with that tech fall, but this was an impressive. Under control, it, guys, it, finish it, it out. Avenge finish the it out. loss in a big way. And then, guys, and Ruth, 31-0.
and the national champion at 174 pounds. He picks up his first national title. Get you here, buddy. And Ruth. The Penn State fans love chanting his name, Ed Ruth. The redshirt sophomore from Harrisburg who's had some issues in his career on his way through the ranks at Penn State. He's battled back from some trouble. Kale Sanderson's redshirt sophomore has a national title. Ed Ruth is with our Quinn Kessner. Ed, congratulations. What was the game plan? Uh, just go out there, lay it on them. Don't give them time to breathe. And just wanted to suffocate them. Appeared like you wanted to set the tempo right away. Why was that so important? Uh, I always feel it's important to get like the first takedown, the first contact, first guy to initiate anything. That's usually the guy who dominates the match. Three undefeated wrestlers came in, one walks away. What does that feel like? Oh, that feels good. Congratulations, Ed. Dominant.